Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about box model. So, box model is basically the way in which the height and the width of an HTML division or any HTML section is calculated. So, first of all, we will create a division and see how it works. So, we will create a division and name it box1. We will go to our CSS and we will access it here and give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of 200 pixels and a background of red color. So we will name it box1. So there we have our box division. So this is our box, this is our division and we have the width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. So the problem with this is that whenever you add any border to this or any padding to this division, it can affect the height and the width of the whole division. So I will give it a border of 10 pixels border 10 pixels solid black so here we can see that if we didn't have this border this box would be smaller so when we have this border uh, the width and the height of the whole division becomes much greater so here if we have we have the height and the width to 200 pixels each so when we add a border of 10 pixels then 10 pixels will be added to all the four sides of our division and the total width of our division would be 200 plus 10 on this side and 10 on this side so 220 pixels will be the width and the height of our division so now if we add some padding over here let's see what happens so we have added 20 pixels of padding and as you can see this is now smaller and when we add the padding 20 pixels 20 pixels more is added to our division so whenever we want to create divisions and we want to place some other divisions based on this division at that time we have to calculate what would be the height and the width after adding the padding and the border so we have to calculate many things so for example if we want the height and width of this whole division to be 200 pixels we have to set it up here in the beginning so we have to subtract 10 pixels each from all the sides so we have to remove 20 pixels from the height and the width so we have to type in 180 pixels and 180 pixels over here and the padding is also added to all the sides so we have to again remove um, 40 pixels from the height and the width so it will become 140 and 140 so this is how we have to calculate the height and the width of our box so this is kind of uh, really difficult at times so i will show you an example when this can be really difficult to calculate so let me create one more division over here so division and we will name it box 2 now let me remove everything so here we will give it a background color of red and we will give it a width of 50 percent and a height of uh, say 200 pixels now we will style our second box so we will give it a background color of let's say blue and a width of 
and a height of 200 pixels now what we will do is we will place both of these beside each other so we will type in float and left and here we will type float right now we have what we wanted we have one box here with 50% of width and the other box with 50% of width but once we add some padding or border to any of these boxes then things can change so let me add a border of one pixel also one pixel solid black so here you can see that even a border of one pixel can make such a huge difference in our design so we have one pixel over here one and one pixel over here so these two pixels can shift the whole division down so if we add padding then things will get more complicated so we will do the same with our another division so here we can see that now we have to calculate our width again so here we have calculated using percentage so we have no other option than doing something like playing around with our percentage and hoping that everything works fine so we can't say that this is exactly right because there may be some gap in between these boxes so we cannot assure that this works every time so to deal with this there is an option in css where we can calculate the height and the width in a different manner so let me tell you that so uh, there's an option called uh, first of all let me create a star where we can access all uh, both these divisions so here you have to type in box sizing and type in border box so what happens is when we assign box sizing to border box the height and the width is calculated including the border and the padding so even if we add a border of 2 pixels or 20 pixels everything is added inside the specified width that we have so if we change this back to 50% and this to 50% we can see that it works really fine so we will just increase our border size here we can see that we have increased our border to 10 pixels but it does not affect our width so this can save you a lot of effort and a lot of time in calculating the width precisely so nowadays websites are designed using responsive designing paradigm in mind so this can be useful in that in those kinds of situations so if if you want to set absolute width and height to your divisions you can you can do without this box sizing property over here but if we have width in percent or if you want to design for a responsive model then we have to use this box sizing property it makes things really really simple so i hope that you have understood this tutorial and how to use box sizing and what is the main purpose of using it so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button i really appreciate that and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the updates of the latest videos thank you so much for watching